Greetings, loyalists, traders, Xenos, legions, and other sort of entities of Warhammer 40k. This is Armed Elves. So, just a little further on in the recording, we've got XL Pudding, who finally busted out a Feral Titan, a.k.a. Warhound Chaos Titan. And I am currently supporting him with my uh, super tanks. Help keeping him up to keep that thing alive while we go and invade the Tau's base. We stopped. We finally stopped hitting the Eldar's base and finally decided to start hitting the Tau's base. Which was by far the better option. Um, these stupid turrets, though. Arc defense turrets, ripping me a new one. He just gave me another donation that gave me what I needed in order to build my own Titan, I do believe. Oh, that stupid laughing piece of crap. Ugh. But caught between all of our stuff, it should die pretty quickly. The only thing that's inaccurate here that I would say the most is out of all the Titans, the Warhound Titan was by far the fastest, and, uh... Yeah, it was their Scout Titan. But in this particular Dawn of War, I can see how they have a harder time getting proper pathing for something that big, moving fast. But I would easily imagine a Titan like that, any of the Titans just striding across these larger zones without the slightest problem. I only wonder uh, how Dawn of War 3 is going to capture that essence. Though, the biggest thing they're making are the Knights, which are smaller than the Warhounds. So, so in comparison to a super heavy tank like the Bane Blade right here, yeah, that's a Bane Blade. And a knight. Where would a knight stand in comparison to this warhound, I wonder? I wonder if a knight would actually be... You know, I myself picture a warhound titan actually being taller than this, and larger. And a knight actually being almost exactly that size, if not a little bit bigger. Oh. I don't know. A lot of times when you read the books, they give mixed uh, dimensions. Oh, sooner or later I get into my head to nuke this base, though. And sooner or later I eventually start focusing on these stinking arc defense turrets. <sighs> oh, and by taking this point I was able to upgrade my HQ to its final stage. Huh. Okay. I guess the, uh... Oh, it disappeared. Yeah, I was just not paying attention just a little bit. And this, of course from the Word Bearers Dark Crusade campaign. Whirlpool of color. So I just barely read about the fall of Cadia in uh, one of the uh, novelization in the Codex. And it, I gotta say, there was a lot more there than I anticipated. So I'm not gonna give away any spoilers in this video, but yeah, I I would highly recommend getting that. It was honestly awesome. I enjoyed it. Oh, cr oh fecal matter. Looks like his titan's about to fall. Man, it sucks they can cloak their friggin' infantry. Yeah, there goes his titan. Ah. Boom. Oh, those were all the spikes. The fade animation was a little slow. Oh, and I just barely got my final advancement on the HQ. Huh. Looks about the same. Oh! <laughs> I panned down just in time to see the nuclear cloud from when I got tired of the stupid Tau's base and nuked it. That's, that crap is funny. Mm. 
Yeah, that effectively wiped out most of it. Oh! There's my Titan. Reaver. <clears throat> On our way to finish wiping out the Tau. Finish what we started. I believe this right arm is the Vulcan cannon, and that left arm, I don't know what the left arm is, that like Gatling gun, jeez. Ah, <sighs> Stormlord. <sighs> oh, man, that Vulcan ca cannon's powerful. Oh, I want to get a Reaver Titan. A model for a Reaver Titan. Frag, I'd settle for a Bane Blade. But uh, I got some Lehman Russes now. Oh, just, what is it even? Oh, the Farseer. She took a lot of firepower before she died. I mean, to stand up for even a few seconds, the firepower of a Titan speaks volumes. Ah. Just beautiful. Check it out. Burn, baby, burn. <sighs> oh, tower now gone. And there's a little bit of an Eldar base that's cloaked. I didn't spot it right away, so I just kind of bypassed it. Ah! I know you're under fire. You're soldiers. I sent you into war. What happens in war? Oh, I don't know. You get shot at. No need to tell me every f five seconds. Ah. Oh, I lost a super heavy. Uh, gold stuff will replenish, and then I'll build a new one. I wanted to build two Reaver Titans, but I would have had to have stopped building these in order to do that, so I, I never got around to actually doing that. <sighs> Gosh, these guys are losing morale faster than they're losing troops. Oh. Ancient Wraith Guard. Oh. Oh, it got torched. <laughs> oh, bloody fire dragons. Come on, Titan, hit something. Oh! Laughing piece of crap. Oh, they're tearing in a new one. <sighs> yeah, and here come all my forces. And I, oh, I remember this Karskin squad because everything was messing up. I ended up deleting them so that they. Oh, that squad, Imperial Guardsmen, so they'd get out of the way of the tanks. Yeah, any moment. Eventually, those guards we just got on my nerves. Oh, and they're. <laughs> Finally, the fury of the machine god. We can't win. Run! <sighs> oh, I hate Eldar crap. Ooh. Drink. 
Oh, I think pours out some impressive firepower. Oh. <sighs> and I'm told it's a detector. Yeah, it comes over here and starts detecting the crap out of their buildings. Oh, man. Web sail. Ah. Against all those pinpoint shots, though, that drake doesn't last too long. Man. Does it look beautiful? Where do you need me? Okay. Okay, it looks like I'm rallying over here. Three super heavy. Oh, I, fu I lay down a scan grid finally to wipe out this pathetic little installation. Once it's gone, I can start actually moving forward without harassment. Well, there's this one, but it's not cloaked. Okay. False fails, nuke it. Oh, I don't think I ever got around to upgrading her with something a little bit better. Besides just a las gun. What is this blinking thing for? This is the storm blade. I haven't laid down a detection grid yet, but hey, I got targets. Why aren't my guys shoot? Oh, they're doing that can't shoot thing again. How do they do that? Oh, that's kind of interesting. Huh. And their thing that stops me from shooting ends, and here comes the rain. I saw one of my psychers go flying. It was funny. Oh, it cloaked again. I haven't needed another detector. And it's back. Are you? Well, I guess you're doing your job if you're under fire. So if you aren't under fire, then guess you, well, then again, killing your enemy before they can shoot you. Yeah, I but not exactly the Imperial Guard way, more like the Eldar way. 
And then their last bastion. Oh, like another stinking laughing piece of crap. Oh. No, oh, it won't last long. Dragon thing takes its time to die. <sighs> Is that their equivalent of a nuclear strike or something? I mean, seriously. That is huge. Oh, you can see it. Just like with a nuclear strike, you can see it all the way across the map. Yep. Hmm. Well, in any case, so all in all, I find uh, the Apocalypse mod to be absolutely fragging awesome. I would recommend it to anyone. I will post down the link, uh, the actual site to download the mod, and the you'll also find tutorial videos there on how to do it. And as well, uh, the guy's asking for donations so he can continue this work. He's had to stop, unfortunately, and get back to real life because that's what you gotta do when you're building stuff like this. But I will post that all down in the description. Please, if you actually really enjoy this content, um, actually donate to him. He needs it, and it would be absolutely fantabulous. Become one of his patrons and whatnot. Uh, in any case, if you like this video, please give it a huge thumbs up. And uh, mind you, only if you genuinely enjoy this content. And if you actually do enjoy this content and you're new to the channel, well, think about subscribing. Uh, but uh, any feedback, comment section below. What are your thoughts on the Ultimate Apocalypse mod? Is there anything on this that Dawn of War 3 could really build off of? And why didn't the makers of Dawn of War 3 hire the guy who made this? Why didn't they do that? For the life of me, I can't fathom why they wouldn't, but... Well, in any case, well, don't y'all get into too much trouble, or do. It's always up to you. Toodles.